Hey everybody, we are back again with another episode of the Nintendo Pipeline Podcast. Ooh, hang on, I just choked, I have to do that again. (laughs) (laughs) Hey everybody, we are back again with another episode of the Nintendo Pipeline Podcast. Uh, First off, let me introduce everybody today. With me, I have... What a Muffin, a.k.a. Jared. And our special guest today is... Super Nintendad, a.k.a. Chris Becker? Hell yeah. Question mark? Do you Question prefer to be mark? called uh, Chris in the podcast? I guess that's... Yeah, that's fine, yeah. That's good as you're called. It's, can, yeah. I, can, can I just call you dad on the podcast? Yeah. <laughs> no! <laughs> Not that kind of podcast. <laughs> so, uh, today is a very special episode, because it is episode 49.8, um... AKA actually episode fifty of 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 this, which means we've been doing this for too long. Um, yeah, wow, that's uh, I could not have imagined when we first started that this would be going on for for fifty episodes. Like we we've had a, we've had some some hosts come and go, but uh, yeah, I, I mean me me and Clay have been here since 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 the friggin' beginning, and uh, oh, I mean Lord. thank you to every every other host and guest that's ever been on like uh yeah ra- ra- i mean ra- uh, like our, our 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 hosts that come back from time to time like raccoon and yes. mina and literally everybody else especially uh james and ness for editing everything uh and, and yeah. everyone for listening thank you so much yeah and, and you were our editor for a bit too so shout yes. out to you for and, suffering and ra- through raccoon that. did a few episodes too raccoon did as well mm-hmm. yeah so yeah. Well, a lot of people we got everybody from Nintendad to uh, Fuji to Gartooth to um, we had uh, Nick from Xbox Era. Um, Splendor, Tender. Did have Splendor. <laughs> yeah, Splendor and Tender. Yeah. Um, All the Enders. You could Mina want. a lot. <laughs> um, and uh, last week we had Zalman. So. Uh, yeah. And hopefully... if you if if we didn't mention your name. Uh, yeah, Skipper. I know Skipper was there. Yeah, we, Skipper was. We have a lot. Too. We can't. We can't thank every single guest, but we we, we can't. We yeah. try our best. If we forgot your name, sorry, we forgot. Yeah. You. <laughs> but. <laughs> 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 but uh, yeah, it's been cool. We we started with that uh that big combo episode. Um, mm-hmm. I remember we said that we were gonna do the first episode and be like, oh, it'll be fine. We'll we'll <laughs> we'll, we'll do it in like thirty to forty five minutes, and like we oh, recorded like an God. hour and a half, and we're like, oh, okay, mm-hmm. maybe not. Um, and was that first episode direct related as well? It was half the... direct and half right. Mario 3D, uh, not Mario 3D World slash Bowser's Inside. Bowser's Fury? Yeah, Bowser's Fury. Was it yeah. direct or was it just Bowser's, it was, it was a it lot was, of stuff. It, it was, was like... mostly Bowser's Fury. That was like the bulk of it. But it there was... was some direct Yeah, there was like news, there was like news, Bowser's Fury and like leak rumor stuff. Yeah, so, um, uh, the, the 50 felt like, uh. I, like a direct episode felt like a great one for fifty, just because. Yeah. Obviously, that's pretty core to the the current Nintendo base, and it's been for 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 a while. The people love that. Yeah, uh, we were trying to figure out stuff. what to do for for the fiftieth, and threw a bunch of ideas around, and those will probably end up being a thing at some point too. Just just not mm-hmm. today, because today. Yeah. Uh, even though we don't have E three. Um, we do have a Nintendo Direct, probably almost definitely coming. Yeah, like if. We'll look like fools if it doesn't happen, but it's, <laughs> eh, that's fine. There was there was a, 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 a leak earlier that suggests it may be coming on the 15th. We'll see if that plays out, but it makes uh, sense. N- now is probably the best time before the whole summer games mm. mess and, and everything starts yeah. up. Um, so, yeah, so I guess without further um, ado, uh, we've got Super Nintendo Dad here, Uh and uh, we are going to talk about what we're hoping or expecting to see um, at this quote-unquote E3 uh, Direct. Um, as of right now, we know stuff all the way through September, kind of. Um, Strikers is finally out next week, or this week, or whatever. And uh, we've got Xenoblade 3 and Splatoon 3 coming. Um, and Fire Emblem uh, Three Hopes. Is that, is that what it is? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Three Hopes. Okay. Three Hopes. Um, but there's still more because there's always more, and we always obsess over what's coming next and not, don't play what we have. So, 
Uh, <laughs> I guess uh, we could start with you, Nintendad. Is there like one big thing that you're really hoping for at at this direct? One big thing. If, yeah. If I were to have one big thing that I want here, it would probably be. Oof, jeez. Um, you, I'm there with you. you. We, I, I can go first, and we can come back to you if you want to okay. think about it a little more. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right, mine sure is, is probably the same I had last time. It's uh, still a DK EPD. Uh, yes. if, if that rumor was real, I would I would love that a lot. I love Donkey Kong. I, I love the EPD group. Yeah. I and mean, that would be uh, sick yeah. AF. Yeah, I think for me, a new Donkey Kong Country, a new... Mm-hmm. 2D Mario, yeah, or um, a new Star Fox is always going to do it for me. <laughs> the last one's predictable. I know. <laughs> that, this is like you know, this is like big dreams, right? Not not realistic dreams, just just big. Dreams. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. You got you got something. <laughs> if if I were to have a a big dream game, it would probably be something like. Mm, like a Chibi Robo remake. Ooh. Would love that. Get that get blue fun. get blue point in here. Re remake Chibi Robo. Oh, God, <laughs> <laughs> get Grezzo uh, in here and have yeah. him give us Doshin the Giant. Mm, yeah, so yeah. I've never played Doshin. I want to try it. I I never ended up playing Doshin either. That game has such a weird history to how it ended up actually getting released. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm down for Chibi Robo remake. Yeah. I, 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 I will always say I'll prefer a sequel over anything, but yeah, I'm, me too. I'm but down. I would I'm take down. anything. Yeah, basically. Every um, every sequel they've had for Chibi Robo or any new additional game of Chibi Robo has pretty much been terrible. Like <laughs> you're just running around cleaning up the park, which wasn't as good. It was much yeah. better when there was like. There was hints at a divorce, and <laughs> there was just all sorts of crazy stuff happening in that first game. Yeah. And the father, I believe he was an alcoholic, they hinted at. It was it was a lot darker than you would think for yeah. a little robot that goes around and cleans the house with a toothbrush. Mm, and it's yeah. funny, too. Yeah. It, is, it is a funny-ass game. Yeah, I, I know that... Um... One of the, the, the DS Chibi Robo that did not hit worldwide, I would heard, was, was pretty mm, solid. Source yeah. Raccoon. Um, but um, it's funny. I, I played actually played a lot of Ziplash, and I don't hate that game. It's just kind of aggressively mediocre. Like, it's just kind of whatever. Right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'd be down. I'd be down for that. Um, I'm glad it brought us the Amiibo. I mean... Yeah, I love that. What else can you ask for? Yeah, I, I do have the Amiibo, Chibi but Robo. I have no interest in playing the game. I'm still okay. upset that I don't have the QB one. I want yeah, oh, me too. It. It's I, just a I fucking really box. That. They <laughs> should reprint it. It's a fucking box with eyes. Yeah. I want <laughs> oh, I, I want to rewind to Mario for a second. Because sure. uh, I actually would have strongly guessed 2D Mario if the Mario movie was going to happen. But with that oh. delay of the movie, I, I'm, I'm less expecting a Mario now. Because I, I do think they want to get a game out around when the movie comes out. I think that would be yeah. that would make a lot of sense for them. I know they've said that they're not going to like go crazy in terms of like you know forcing something to come out around the movie, but I'm sure that if possible, they would want something to mm-hmm. release near or alongside yeah. the movie. Um, it maybe just 3D makes Mario. Sense. I don't know. Um, for the Mario, I I still think we would see like some mario movie skins for mario plus rabbits oh what is it the hope oh that makes sense it's called? i forgot that the game existed <laughs> did that game get delayed to 2023 no. it has not been no it's still listed as 2022 okay. yeah they said uh fall i think okay and i i know some listings popped up for october which you know you never know how reliable those yeah, are yeah but that game looks good yeah oh, I, I wouldn't mind saying one. a few minutes of that here yeah, I haven't played the first one yet. Um, I'll get to it eventually. <laughs> you know. I mean, do you like um, XCOM? I don't really play those kinds of games. I don't think you. I don't like think you'd like it. I, <laughs> see, it looks like something that I could enjoy because depending yeah. on what kind of strategy game or how the strategy game is, I actually like them. 
Oh, but... I meant the first one, not this new one. Oh, oh, yeah, I haven't played. I don't think you'd like it one. if you don't like XCOM. Yeah. I mean, I, ha I don't really have an opinion on XCOM. Oh, okay, I've mostly gotcha, just, like, gotcha. I've watched people play it. I just mm -hmm. don't typically play those kinds that of games because they're not okay. typically my thing. Yeah. Um, but, uh, so, I guess we can talk, um, now that we got our big dreams out of the way, we can talk about some of the things that we might be expecting to see. And I guess the first, like, the kind of the elephant in the room right now is the, um, the long-rumored and talked about uh, Metroid Prime 1 uh, remake yeah. slash remaster. Um, Emily talked a bit about this one. Uh, kind of explains uh, some of the, the like weird info that was going around by, about Prime Trilogy for a while there. Um, but to, to summarize, the idea is that it's a, um, it's a pretty quote-unquote ambitious... Um, remake slash remaster of Metroid Prime 1, mostly in the graphical department, and that uh, Retro has been working on it since before they were assigned uh, Prime 4. Um, and that it's being released to sort of coincide with Metroid Prime's 20th anniversary, which is scarily this year. Oh my, that's 20 years old. <laughs> it's 20 years old, baby. <laughs> um... So I was curious what you guys thought about about this. Like, is this something that you'd be interested in? Like, N Nintendo, do you want to go first on this one, Chris? Sure. Yeah, um, I would be interested. I'm. I can just imagine the first thing most people would want to do in the remake when you first start off is just hold down your blaster, shoot it against something close to you so you see the reflection. <laughs> oh yeah. of of her in the in the mask. But yeah. Um if I could play through the first game again with um good controls mm -hmm. um or just being able to play it on a modern system would be great. So, yeah, I'd totally be down and a lot of these like older games when they come out obviously 20 years ago my kids weren't born um but so my oldest is 13 and he would get to play it and i'm just excited for th them to get to play it and try it out and hear what they think about the games and how it would compare to how i felt when it first came out that's a good point yeah. Yeah, you know, I yeah, I mean, I know one up and I are not fathers, but like as like I feel like as a father, that's probably a very like interesting sort of experience to have um, with your and kids. It's something I I didn't think about because like obviously like it's more geared towards a new generation because there's so many people that had a Switch that didn't have uh, GameCube or weren't even around when GameCube was around. But uh, right, for yeah. me, as someone who did have a GameCube and played Prime. This rumor is a little flaccid for me, mm -hmm. but I, it could change if I see it. I just don't know if I want to play that same game again. Obviously, I, I still need to go back and finish it, but I'd rather finish. <laughs> I'd, I'd rather finish my GameCube save than start it again on the Switch. <laughs> yeah, I imagine this is. Sorry, go oh, ahead. you go ahead. I was just gonna say, I imagine this is like for the new crew at Retro. Mm -hmm to get in the right mindset to make the new Metroid Prime. And it's just putting a new skin, almost like uh, Blue Point did yeah. with like um, Demon Souls and, and the, the other games. Yeah. yeah. And I, I think there's merit it, in that. Like I really yeah. do. And I, I even though something is not, might not be for me, it doesn't mean it shouldn't exist and that people won't like love this if they yeah. do well. I, I think it's funny that we've gotten 15 minutes in this podcast, not even, and we've already mentioned Blue Point twice. <laughs> <laughs> we love Blue no. Point at Nintendo Pipeline Podcast. I know for me, so like, um, the controls of the GameCube one were a little rough for me. Like, they weren't bad. Like, I could not do dual analog, so I'm thankful that that was not the approach to the GameCube <laughs> version. Um, but the perfected version of this game for me is the Prime Trilogy version <sighs> due to the pointer. Um, I need to try that. I have that on Wii U, and I have not even launched it. And, like, those versions are very playable for me. Mm -hmm. But um, I will say um, it'll be very cool if Prime 1 gets both dual analog and gyro yeah. um, controls. I, I think that's likely. If, if... I think that's pretty likely, yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, 
it'll it, you know who knows uh visually it'll probably be pretty cool i know trilogy removed some of the effects um like uh when you like shoot a bunch of beams out of samus's um arm cannon um there would be like that effect where it was like like the the heat like distortion in the air and that got removed in trilogy um it'd be nice to see some of that stuff like make it yeah, back that would I mean, be awesome I, I don't i don't know if new content is on the table but um even if they had some sort of like you know gallery mode or or something as a little celebration of mm-hmm. of 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 the original game you know some of the artwork or whatever that would be cool I, and i think it's yeah. nice that metroid gets to get something else yeah and i think this is a chance for prime to be even bigger than it was uh, i have two yeah. small things uh the first one is relating to your last thing i i think if they had like a little bit of like cutting room floor content in this game like mm-hmm oh, there was this one thing we wanted to get into Prime 1 that didn't happen, and we got it in here. That would be awesome. And the second is, there's a lot of remakes coming up this year and next year of three games that I kind of... They weren't released the exact same time, but I relate them very closely to one another. Mm -hmm. And that's Metroid Prime, Resident Evil 4, and Dead Space. Yes. Like, those, like, dark, atmospheric shooters all coming out within like a year or two is going to introduce so many new fans to these, uh, these fantastic games. And that's great to see. Yeah. Yeah. I know I personally am of the opinion that Metroid prime doesn't really need a remake, but like, if we're going to, if we're going to get one, then like, I'm not, I'm not opposed to it, like existing Mm -hmm. or whatever, especially since prime four is a while. Right. And, but how, how do you think it will sell compared to Dread? Better. Definitely um, better. I'm going to say comparably. Oh, wow. I'm going to be a little conservative on this one. Um, granted, Metroid Prime, the original, up until Dread, was the best-selling Metroid game. I'm sure it will yeah. do well for itself. and I'm that, sure That's that the, why I say better. Yeah, um, the but... pent-up demand for Prime 4, I think, will also mm-hmm. um, factor in there. Um, but... Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm curious. I'm just glad to see more Metroid content. Um, you know, we had Dread last year. Um, we have potentially have Prime One coming this year. Prime Four is coming up at some point. Who knows? Maybe next year. And hopefully, we'll be seeing another 2D Metroid on Switch before um, they move to a new platform. That would be extremely cool. I think. I wonder if they'll. Mer- I I know it's a it's a it's something people hate to hear. But I do wonder if they'll have Mercury Steam remake Super Metroid. God, I hope not. <laughs> I just, I just, I, I still feel very I strongly that like remaking <laughs> Super Metroid and Metroid Fusion are like two of the most pointless games to remake. <laughs> There's nothing particularly wrong with them outside of Super Metroid's kind of awkward control scheme. Like, uh-huh. but um, yeah. Anyway, um, so there's that. Um, there's also, um, we're going to be seeing some Splatoon 3 stuff Uh at this Direct, for sure. So, um, I guess I'll ask you first, one up. Um, what do you want to see from Splatoon 3? What would make you excited for that game? Because I know, so far, they haven't shown too much new. Uh Mm-hmm. So, I'm not... wondering. It's funny, I'm of two minds. Mm-hmm. On one hand, I'm very disappointed with what they showed, but on the other hand, I'm still interested in a new Splatoon. Uh, mm-hmm. But I just want to see something new. And obviously, like if you talk to like hardcore fans, they'll say, "Oh my God, there's so many new things." Like, yeah, and there are these new moves. But like, as as a casual fan, I want like I yeah. want like a new mode or something, a new mode or a changed up single player or a new way to play games with your friends. Uh, just yeah. something that really differentiates this one from two, besides just the desert style. Right. Um, what about you, Nintendo? Yeah, I, I want a new like. I'm, so I played it a lot, um, both the first one and the second one. I want new, a new way to unlock weapons mm. because one thing that I don't like is well, first of all, they. 
they don't have cloud save. Yeah. So mm -hmm. uh, I've lost like a bunch, a lot of hours in the game because I've had issues. My son one time spilled like an entire ice cream <laughs> sundae on my no. switch and then it stopped working. And so I lost my save and then I had to start over and I was already level like 50 or uh. 60. So the one thing I don't like is th what I feel are the better weapons are they're only they only give you if you spend like 30 40 hours with the right. game and it's like give me those weapons up front and let me like whether it's put stickers on the gun or something to let people know I've been playing for that long but don't make me play for that long before I rewarded with the gun that's been killing me for the yeah. last 30 hours <laughs> yeah or even like a currency system where you can just like choose which guns to buy and then yeah right. yeah because like as it is right now and correct me if i'm wrong um weapons show up at the shop and you buy them but you can only buy them when you're at a certain level correct that, correct yeah yeah um that is very mm -hmm. frustrating at times um especially with how long it can take to, to level up and that also goes to me for the uh getting access to ranked Oh, um, yep. The the first I so I really like Turf War. Like Turf War is still my favorite way to play that game. But um the first game it was fine to wait until level, level 10. It didn't feel as tedious because it was very new. Um but the second game you have to get to level 10 again to reach the rank modes, which include previous um, um ranked modes like splat zones and whatnot. Um and it felt like an eternity before I was allowed to play ranked mode. So I, I don't know if maybe the answer is like, maybe the ranked modes don't need to be just specifically ranked, like they can have unranked versions. Mm -hmm. I would um, love that. I would love that. Because they're fun modes. And I, yeah. I feel like sometimes I'm just like not in the mood to play ranked, but I want to play non-Turf Wars. Yeah, and I also feel like it could be fun to have a ranked version of turf war 2 mm -hmm. like, yeah definitely I, I i think i think i'd like to have ranked and unranked versions of modes where you can play any of them at any time and then like once you're at a certain level you can access the ranked versions um yeah i, I think I, they have enough they have a high enough player count in splatoon to have a few more multiplayer hoppers than they do yeah um I am really happy for Salmon Run coming back. That was my favorite new yeah, feature that was a lot of, fun. of Splatoon 2. I mostly just want big um, single-player stuff. Yeah. That's, like, my favorite stuff I, in Splatoon I hope too. Salmon Run yeah. isn't limited time anymore, either. That would be nice. I hope yeah. you can just do it whenever. Yeah, I hope they, like... I don't know, I, I, I'd love to see them, like, maybe go for something bigger with Salmon Run or, like, you know, kind of beef up some of the other yeah. parts of the game especially you know, after like the the dlc um octo expansion single player content which is very yeah. very good do you know what would be cool you you were saying like a bigger salmon thing it would be cool if salmon run was really related to some sort of like some sort of like meta game kind of like uh i, I don't know if, <laughs> this is probably not the right audience but um i'm thinking of like the last of us factions mode where like winning like winning rounds of salmon run can like help like I don't know, uh, oh, yeah. feed your salmon colony or something, or maybe you're trying to take over like a giant map and like the, as the community beats more levels, they take over. Yeah. Like we take back the land from the salmon or something. Yeah, it could be fun to have. The thing with salmon run the last game is that it's very fun and you do get gear and like relevant rewards from it, but it's somewhat isolated from the yeah. rest of the game, and. Uh, I think it would be fun if it kind of tied back a little bit more into the main game. Maybe like it, maybe you like defeating more salmonids like transforms the hub or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Even even something like that, I think would be fun. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm hoping they show something that is like exciting um, for Splatoon three. Because although I appreciate a lot of the like smaller quality of life stuff that they've shown it's not like that's not what i'm looking for at this moment same <laughs> <laughs> um 
So let's see here. We had uh, Splatoon 3. We have Xenoblade Chronicles coming out soon. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they yep. will yeah, you know, they'll, they'll spend do a, few minutes a little on bit that of time one. on that. Um, I'm not super into... Everyone knows I hate RPGs. <laughs> 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 so I guess if, if there's anything that you guys want to talk about with Xenoblade, feel free to take the floor. Uh, I see the floor. <laughs> oh, you see the floor. Okay. What about you, Chris? Yeah, w this is definitely a game I'm interested in. I played the first mm -hmm. two and maybe like 20, 30 hours of each, but it's like they're, they're just mm -hmm. so yeah. big. There's just so much to do and the problem it my problem is it's not the game's problem it's my problem that where it's like i play so many games um that it's like hard to stay focused on just one plus live alive yes, is coming out i forgot that entirely uh, the week before <laughs> <laughs> and so it's like i'm trying to do i don't know if it's going to be once one story a week or one story a yeah. month but I, mm -hmm. i'm working on it for live alive but then th just those videos it's like i don't even want to see anymore because it's all just might as well just be gibberish because i <laughs> i don't care about like the store well i probably yeah i'm probably going to skip the story a lot of times <laughs> what i do people love this most games i play i skip Hell the yeah. I don't care um, what it is. And it sometimes it backfires and they're looking at a starry night and then you skip it and then all of a sudden there's fire all <laughs> around you. Everyone's dead. You're not sure what's going on. And uh, you just kind of figure it out. The worst, um, I'm the. I think the reason I started doing that was when I was around the PS1 um, and the GameCube. I don't know, I guess PS1, I would, Im started importing games. So I imported like Metal Gear Solid, Final Fantasy oh, yeah. VII. Um, and so I had no idea what was going on, so I would just skip everything. And then I realized, oh, I can get into the games much quicker if I just skip all those these slow, boring cutscenes. But <laughs> the, there's a few games where I will pay attention to the story. Um as long as they hook me right away and it's something i'm right. interested in i'll watch them but if it's just like two people <laughs> droning <laughs> on about who knows what i'm probably gonna skip it but the watching those gameplay videos where there's like i don't even know how many people you have in your party like yeah. six or eight and they're just all <laughs> shouting their calls out at the same time and it's just like Sure, I'll give. I'll play it. I'm gonna get it, obviously, but uh, digitally, I'm not gonna try and get on. I was gonna ask to, to, to buy it to, to, for anyone who's listening. <laughs> yeah. Today is the the day of the uh, my Nintendo store availability of the Xenoblade Three Collector's Edition. That was a dumpster fire. Um, so we're going off that energy right now. <laughs> right. Yeah. But I'm definitely gonna be getting it. I just don't think i'm gonna roll the credits but i'll probably look up the ending on youtube yeah i mean those games are like you said they're enormous um overwhelmingly so for me i love short yeah stuff. <laughs> i like the xenoblade games the worlds look so pretty and i would love to explore them but i i don't know if i have the time and and people are telling me like they're like, oh, you can't just start with three. You have to play all of them. Like, I'm not going to yeah, play all of them. No. That's never, that's never going to happen. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's I'll, just I'll, not going to happen. I'll, I'll watch the cliff notes to, or read the cliff notes. <laughs> yeah. I'll watch that YouTube video that's titled Xenoblade in <laughs> <Yeah>. nine minutes <laughs> or whatever it is. <laughs> they did what in Xenoblade yeah. 2? I, I got to turn my air up one yeah. second because the air conditioner is really loud. Okay. But yeah, the just Xenoblade itself, I really like um, that style RPG. Like it's more action RPG. Uh, it's definitely something. Yeah, it it does have a unique 
um, combat system. Um, which I think is neat. I, I still can't wrap my head around it, but it's, it's neat. Yeah, it, it looks more like MMO-like. <laughs> yeah. A little bit. I don't know if that's true or not. I haven't played yeah. it, but... <laughs> um, so, okay, I want to do a bit of a lightning round real quick mm -hmm. for a couple of smaller things here. I'm going to ask you guys a couple of questions, uh, and you can tell me your answer and maybe, like, a, a short thing about it, all right? Mm -hmm. So, round one. Uh, Mario Strikers Battle League is out this week, and we may see a teaser of upcoming content in the direct. Uh, what is a character that you want to see added? One up. Uh... <laughs> I lightning round. <laughs> oh, I'm just I'm just super not invested in like Mario character up things. Uh, let's say oh, they already got Mario. That's oh my that's god. The main, okay, that's Nintendo. The main dude I want. What do you? Who do you want? Uh, Doctor oh, Egan. Yeah. That's a fun one. I I can't believe One Up didn't yeah. say Daisy. I'm very disappointed. I don't like Daisy. Why would I, I say know. Daisy? I, that's why I'm disappointed. <laughs> uh, I wanted to Pauline. Not... I, I, I was actually gonna say anybody but Daisy, just to spite people. Uh, Pauline would be cool. All right. And, uh, round... I'm I'm sorry to the Daisy people. They... I have nothing actually against Daisy. Round two, we know that uh, golf is coming to Switch Sports. What is a sport that you would like to see added regardless of data mine stuff? Bocce ball. That was fast. Oh, Nintendo. because it's, it was so fun in PlayStation Sports. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nintendo? Um, yeah. Well, the I want that data mined one, which was yeah. dodgeball, dodgeball and basketball were the rumors. I yeah, think that would be fun. Dodgeball seems so much fun. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna throw this one out there. I think I've I've mentioned this a few times before, but I honestly really want uh, cornhole and and switch sports. <laughs> I think it's just like the perfect game. For I that. feel like it doesn't fit. Like I do I think, think it's it fun, and like I would love like cornhole and skee ball and stuff. But it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's not it's like a, a sport in the traditional it's, sense. It's, I mean, it's <laughs> fine. You know, like you, you're the, the game takes place in the, like this big uppity like sports fitness center for rich people anyway and rich people will play uh yeah. <laughs> i think if, yeah. you, if you have cornhole just throw ski ball in there as well just make it a little mini arcade in the back of uh Spago square perfect yeah ar arcade sports yeah, yeah or even like an arc one of those arcadey basketball cornhole. games too if you're adding basketball uh, already yeah why not? the hoops oh uh, yeah if if we have cornhole i want like dr phil and the bat bar barbecue <laughs> While we're throwing the, <laughs> the, yeah, the sacks back and forth. doing a barbecue in the, in the background. Yeah. All right, round three, final round. This one's kind of a, kind of a, you know, a, a fun one that may not happen. But if they were to do um, a free DLC update for Kirby in the Forgotten Land, what would you want to see? Uh, I think a somewhat likely one is, like, more challenge levels. Uh Oh, like the Treasure Road stuff? Yeah, I, I could imagine them doing, like, more Treasure Road things. Okay. I, I want at least one more mouthful, <laughs> and I would want him to remember the lands. Oh, <laughs> god damn it. I was like, what are you talking <laughs> about? <laughs> I was like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, just yeah. I, I would love to revisit some a few uh, classic locations. If we're just gonna get a little ambitious, yeah, yeah, yeah more yeah, expansiony sure. than like free, but like, mm -hmm. uh, I think for Kirby's first game in 3D, it was cool seeing a new location. But I'd love to see some traditional Kirby places in uh, 3D. Maybe like a like a little like, let's go to Popstar yeah. mini expansion. Mm -hmm. That'd be cool. Um, mine is mine is very small. Um, the one I'm going to throw out of there is very small, and that is I just want to be able to play as Bandana D in single player. <laughs> um, that is, he has a unique power that <laughs> upgrades over the course of the game, and you can only play as him in two player. And I thought for sure that once you beat the game, the post game mode would let you play as Bandana D, or you'd get the ability to use Bandana D, and you don't. He just chills there forever. It, if you they, don't would play have to, they would have to modify the game, though, because certain things require certain power-ups and certain mouthful modes. Sure, but, like... It would be cool, though. Yeah, I'd, I'd still like to, like, experience... Even if, even if, like, you can't 
do some of the stuff with him, and it's like a post game little like bonus thing, I'd be fine with it. Yeah, that makes sense. Or, all right, that was the end of the very not fast lightning round. <laughs> um, so one other category I want to touch on, and this may or may not show up at the direct, but everyone is going to talk about it anyway, and that is Nintendo Switch Online. Um, mm. I know some people want to see additional systems, additional games show up. Do you guys have any predictions for if that's going to show up at, at this? Uh, not predictions, but I, I would... Y- y'all know this. I want to see Game Boy. Yep. Uh, I would love that. Uh, maybe even in, the, in whatever tier it's in. I, I just want to play... Uh, Revenge of the Gator and Solar Striker on my Switch. That's all I want in life. <laughs> I love that you said Solar Striker because I have such a soft spot for Solar Striker. It's pretty good. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a video game. I, I always wanted a sequel to that game. What about you, Nintendo? What are you expecting? Or not expecting? Um, <laughs> I'm expecting at least... Um, what is it? The second batch of... Mario Kart oh yes courses. yeah i can't believe i completely forgot uh, about that somehow um yeah wave wave two of the booster pass oh yeah game. that's that's a hundred percent gonna be here do you and maybe some more n64 yep. games yeah they're almost, they're almost done of, their announced, announced lineup and they're almost done with every n64 game ever because there's only like 10 <laughs> that's well they got oh, Quest God. 64 they could my nightmare lose. Um, yeah, okay, real quick then, uh, what are some N64 games you guys would want to see added? Mario Party 3. Yeah, saw that one coming. Excite oh, Bike 64? One. That would be good. I would love I ra- would. Wave Race as well. Oh. Yeah, Wave Race. Pil- with all Pilot Wing 64 is, and... uh, is, uh... I would even take... Pilot Wing 64 is alright. Yeah. I would also take mm. 1080p oh, yeah. snowboard. Oh, Snowboard Kids 2. Uh, classic. Yes, yeah, Snowboard Kids 2. Uh, I think that is Some well. of the Bomberman um, stuff. Yeah, would be nice to see. Hero is so fun. I know we it would probably never come, but like Earthbound <laughs> 64 <laughs> demo that came to Space we'll, World. We'll, I'll just throw let out play Space it. World 1995 you know? Mario 64 demo <laughs> as well. For, for for fun. Yeah. Um, oh, Animal I would. Forest. That there would be so much work, but I would love if they <laughs> translated Animal Forest for us. Oh. It would be Japan only, and we Hell would get yeah. Oh. yeah. Um, I I'd be down. One that I also don't think will ever make it is uh, Robotron sixty four. That game is very cool. Mm. Um, uh, they should translate Custom Robo as well. Oh yeah, that would be nice see custom robo released in the west um again for once um and, and then the mario kart courses yeah. is there any course that you guys want to see in this next because i mean you know everyone's uh, trying to figure out what's going to show up and when War- and... wario shipyard yeah waluigi, wario Pin- shipyard. waluigi pinball yeah waluigi pinball i hope mm. they don't just yeah. save it for last yeah see it's funny I so according to like the you know the the data mine stuff there's there may not be many 3ds courses left but most of the courses that I want are 3ds courses mm. um, such as uh, 3ds Bowser's castle and 3ds Rainbow Road those are probably the two I want the most um, so if any of those okay, yeah. show up at some point um, I'd be pretty happy uh, it's it sucks that half pipes still aren't in the game yeah um that hurts a few courses yeah i mean i guess we'll see if koopa cape keeps them if it makes it um which i think it seems i can't remember what the i that community can that community has like 10 million different (laughs) like it's so deep in terms of like their (laughs) speculation for (laughs) for content (laughs) um what do you guys actually expect to see this E3? Like, like, let's talk like actual predictions instead of hopes for a minute. Um, I guess we'll start with you, Nintendo. Um, 
what do you think will will likely be showing up? Uh, oh, neon yes. white. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> I don't know where I got that idea. But, yeah, no, I think there will be some... They might even have something like Fall Guys um, announced. Mm -hmm. Something about Fall Guys, whether it be... Uh, I'm still torn. I don't. I feel like if they would do a crossover, they would have done it with like Samus when um, Master Chief and Kratos came to oh, Fortnite. Yeah. Could, could it shadow so, drop? Like, is that on Switch yet? I don't even know. Uh, uh, oh, it's so announced not, not for the twenty first. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Um, I, I think what some other things we would get might be um jeez there's like there's a bunch of like indie games that they've been talking about like we could get uh something like ooblets or um not obviously obviously <laughs> not <laughs> Hollow, Hollow Knight but, but um what's the um there's like that card oh, game that was on oh, yeah. inscription. Oh, that game is so I could good. see that being uh, a game announced for the Switch, and then a one that I would like to see, but I don't know if we actually will, is um, something yeah. from Grezzo, like their next game after Metopia, and if it is a DS game or a 3DS game rather. If it is something from for from the three DS, I hope it's not a game like uh, I don't know. I I just hope it's something good. I'll even take their Ever Oasis game. So you're saying you want them to port the three DS well. port of Luigi's Match into Switch? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I mean, we can only Man. hope. Um, yeah. You know, um, yeah. one of the things uh, that I was thinking of in terms of stuff that might finally show up there is I think if there's any chance that Wind Waker and Twilight Princess are actually coming. That was, yeah, that was the first yeah. thing on my list. Too. Yeah, that would I be. Think, I think it's going to be there. Yeah. Especially um, with, with Breath of the Wild delay. Like, there's been yeah. a Zelda thing every year for yeah a very long time. I think... I think I'm certainly comfortable with like there's going to be a Zelda title there because they mm -hmm. they see Zelda as a yearly, um, yearly series. It could be crossbow training too, but dude, I would welcome that with open <laughs> arms. I think Wind Waker is a little more likely. Yeah, man, wish this were my universe. Uh -huh. I would make it Link's crossbow training too. Um, a wild card is always um is always picking for it's been it's been ready for the last 10 years so uh <laughs> they can just release it whatever <laughs> yeah it's definitely uh there there is also uh what supposedly there's a few fire emblem titles uh, yeah i had that as a maybe on my list i could see that could see maybe the the the, the rumored remake one yeah. showing up is that supposed to come out this it's year? It's just kind of rumored for like, like that they're coming like soonish. So I know speculation was like maybe one would come at the end of this year and then one would come the following year. But I could see it, but this year is so busy already. It is very yes. busy. Um, I uh, do you think we'll see three, four switch there? Yeah. <laughs> no, they won't do that. E three. <laughs> you think I like I think, do I think they're like they should put that game back in the vault for a year. Yeah, if it's if maybe. it's as bad as they say, because it just it sounds like a boring Jackbox clone. Yeah, and that's not maybe, what I want from a Nintendo game. <laughs> maybe maybe if the um, I think the Fanbyte article mentioned that there were some uh, internal opinions that maybe it should be thrown on Expansion Pass as a yeah, free thing. Yeah, that's a good idea. I would be I would be fine with that outcome actually. Yeah. Yeah, and if that's the case. I think they yeah, just, if yeah. they're if they're that ashamed of it, it probably wouldn't show up at a direct. It's not the kind of announcement that you would have um, yeah. at a direct. They've never really done that with their titles. 
outside of Switch Sports, honestly, that's kind of the mm-hmm. that has such universal, you know, um, appeal that it, that it fits right in there. Um, oh, I, yeah, yeah. I again? It's... yeah, I hope so. I hope, I hope we so finally too. get a date for that. I hope it's like this year still. Yeah, <laughs> maybe it'll end up in December again. <laughs> Or it'll come out like the uh, same day as Splatoon, a, uh, and they'll just kind of like bury die. it in there. Yeah, that would suck. Um, man, uh, I would last... love. Oh, go on, go on, go on. I was gonna say last I do year. One more thing. We... Last year we got like Metroid, Two D Metroid. We got WarioWare. We got Advance Wars. Like it was kind of a wild, wild. It was one. the E3 of Dreams. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So what's your last one? Oh, I mean, if we're if we're talking the E3 of Dreams again, a Rhythm Heaven would be cool. Um, but also, oh, yeah. I was gonna say. Yeah. Uh, did I lose it? Did I lose what I was going to say? You didn't lose Rhythm Heaven. That was the important part. That's what oh, I Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. A yeah. new um, eShop never game. never lost it. It's always in your They mind. haven't had a new small eShop game in a while. Something like uh, Good Good Job or uh, Stretchers. Mm. Yeah, I'd like to see another one of those. It's been a while. Who was the team that made um, Snipper Clips? Uh, it was just a small... Yeah. Have they done anything the since then? Uh, I think they worked on what was that game? I want to say Tangle Tower was their next game. Oh, okay. I. Yeah, they did Tangle Tower, and then they just released uh, Tangle Tower a few months ago, maybe the beginning of the year, mm-hmm. I think, on the Xbox. So I don't know what that studio is doing next. That was like uh, originally launched, I think, oh, on Apple great. Arcade. Give me Choo Choo Rocket Universe. <laughs> what about? Oh yeah, that would be great. What about in terms of Ooh. shadow drops? Um, do you do you think they'll have more than? <laughs> I thought you were gonna say uh, something else. Three. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I could I could see I could see around three. That seems about like the right number. Um, I'm curious if they'll shadow. I I thought they might shadow drop that by Fire Emblem demo, but they didn't. So Game Boy. Game Boy yeah, I thought that was going to be part of that. Yeah. Yeah, Game Boy and Game would be Boy nice. would be, yeah. Um, maybe. Hmm. I'm still what mad about... that they did Genesis before Game Third Boy. Party. That just makes me. Uh, it, it just peeves me out. Get Bentesis. <laughs> what, what were you going to say, uh, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> what about the. Uh, like third party games is sometimes we'll get random third party games like the mm. Skyrim anniversary edition oh. just got raided in Korea or something. Yeah, and that adds like yeah. fishing and stuff. So, do you think that'll be uh here at this direct, or do you think that'll just um, be something I could, announced? I could see that a direct thing, like, yeah, I could, see it, or yeah. I could definitely September. see it there. I don't know about shadow dropping, I, I can see. Golden Eye Shadow. Oh dropping. no! Yeah, that would be a prime. Though there's no yeah. way Golden Eye is going to be here. Yeah. Yeah. I, I guess Microsoft it kind of depends, right? So, yeah. oh yeah, Microsoft's first. So. Yeah. Microsoft's so, I mean... gonna gonna probably announce that Golden Eye thing. Yeah. This. Uh, yeah. Do you know? Do you know? It'd be awesome if, Sunday. along with this Golden Eye, which is like a remaster of the the 64 game right like this is pretty mm-hmm. similar to the perfect dark one yeah it would be awesome if they brought over the the xbox live um banjo kazooie and perfect dark games uh to uh, oh yeah for purchase so those yeah. are amazing yeah uh, if this could be a rare replay pinata i mean that? why stop there yeah just throw th- rare, rare replay bad would be a, a, yeah, amazing bring choice that out. for switch I want them to put. This is not a Nintendo thing, but I want um, Microsoft. They're never going to do it at this point. But I would love if they put the um, arcade versions of Killer Instinct One and Two on PC that come with uh, Killer Instinct uh, Ultimate on oh. Xbox One because those are locked to uh, console right now. Oh, that's so weird. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Well, there's that rumor that Bandai mm-hmm. or Nam. Yeah, Namco, right, is working. Oh, on oh that's cool. I did not hear that rumor. That's so interesting. We'll see. Yeah, that is a that was uh, one I forgot about that rumor. Um, 
I thought yeah. Battletoads, the new Battletoad games, would have been a yeah, good game to release. I could see it still show. happening. They didn't. They didn't seem to review that well, though. People didn't yeah, seem super enthused yeah. about just, them. Kind of just came and went. No, it is sad. Yeah, people. I think people were more excited about um, him wearing the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> the Battletoads yeah. shirt than the actual I, Battletoad um, game. I would it like makes... to see Battletoads yeah. Arcade make it over to Switch. I want to own that game, and it's part of Rare Replay, of course. But I I love that game. Oh, I'm gonna say I think we'll get a day one cloud version oh. of gotham oh Knights. man the dreaded cloud, cloud version. versions i could see that. okay yeah let's talk <laughs> about that for a second so day one gotham knights uh, cloud version do, do you guys expect any other cloud version switch stuff uh what else is this year uh, it's like what i'm like trying to think of I, oh i could see re8 cloud Saints version Row? oh yeah that's true because that that's coming to to freaking macbook so i could see it coming <laughs> to cl- cloud version on switch sure Right, um, yeah. I know there was talks about a supposed Batman collection. I'm curious if they would go the cloud route, at least on Arkham Knight. Um, I'm I still sad it. for Kingdom Hearts yeah. fans about that whole situation. Yeah. <laughs> that sucks real bad. Um, I mean, I got it. Well, I played quite a bit on the cloud i don't know what it did to my <laughs> data caps but it, does it by golly i well? played it um as long yeah. as you don't play it at peak hours if you try and play it like at peak hours it's like it's just like um old like uh. 90s <laughs> movies showing the internet like it's just like you know they just it was not good. It was like oh, being on IGN64.com yeah. back in the day. Trying really, to download really not the selling me on cloud stamp versions. size screenshots. Yeah. yeah, it was great. You know, as long as you play it around <laughs> 11 yeah. in the morning on a Tuesday. When I always play my video games. It runs really well. Yeah, the best time to play Kingdom Hearts cloud version. That was in like the yeah. top charts digital charts the first week it came out and it has never now, come back when you go to download those cloud will. versions do you, are the downloads free and then you pay in game or is it you download and then i don't think you can buy it until you pay or until you play for like oh right uh the 10 minute right. demo that makes sense. just to make yeah. sure it runs so i i actually have more cloud versions than you would think oh, i yeah. have um hitman and i also got um what's the other one uh, oh about yeah that. Guardians I, of the about Galaxy? I got the cloud version of that and it plays pretty well the same thing with mm-hmm. Uh, control mm. uh, that's so ray tracing. <laughs> finally <laughs> ray tracing on switch uh, yeah so i'm ready for um <laughs> oh, <Cyberpunk yeah>. cloud <laughs> edition yeah. man it's it's a long shot it's but i would still need. love um <laughs> uh, like something like oblivion or the old like fallout 3 or new vegas on switch that would be cool yeah i think that would be nice for 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 people i think extremely unlikely yeah, I feel like plenty of people would pick those up. Yeah. If, oh yeah. If they, if they were to show up. Um. Oh yeah, and I think there was like a rumor about oh. a Call of Duty oh, game or something. Yeah. There's always that rumor, Switch. and there's always disappointment. But it would be nice for people who like Call of Duty. Man, I hope they can get multiversity, yeah. multi multiverses working on Switch because that would be a great fit. Yeah, that is such a weird game to not have a Switch version. <laughs> so maybe. It's oh yeah, fun. yeah. I played the alpha on um, on the Series S, and it would like it would crash if you oh. go back and forth between <laughs> too many menus. It would be like uh, I would have thought it was a Series S thing. The game I, I did not have any crashes uh, on my own on the Series X, and I, I thought the demo was really fun actually. 
or the alpha. Oh yeah, the, playing the game itself is fun. Oh, that's, that for sucks. me. It was yeah. just going through the menus. I did not get joke. into the alpha because I'm yeah. not cool. So, but um, <laughs> I paid five oh my bucks. God. I paid someone five bucks. I could have got it for free because my buddy was like, "Do you want a code?" And I was like, <laughs> "I just paid this guy on um, reset era five bucks <laughs> to give me a code," and is, uh, yeah. you know. It is what it is. Um, but yeah, hey, I got to play it. Yeah, it's and it's, it was fun. It, it's surprisingly and good. Obviously, this Shaggy's is not it. really the podcast, but uh, yeah, it's the two v like two mode is surprisingly right, fun, yeah. and it's very different from Smash. It looked very cool and very unique. Yeah, and the mm. characters looked like they had a lot of personality. And yeah, like... the the banter they have is is sometimes actually like it, it's enter- I like I find it entertaining. I think Bugs Bunny calling Westeros Worsteros mm-hmm. is uh, is good stuff. <laughs> I yeah, you know what? I hope that we yeah. see that at at E three. Maybe a little free to play segment since Bomberman Online is dying. Oh yeah, rest in peace. Rest the rest uh, in peace. That's the the few times I played that game, I thought it was fun. That's like the one I didn't want it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, they they should close that game and then replace it with uh, Bomberman ninety nine for uh, NSO. Yeah. Dude, I would play the with the with retro shit. graphics though. Yeah, no, absolutely. I would play the absolute shit out of Bomberman ninety nine. It's so much fun. I, we, it's time for a new ninety nine game. <laughs> I agree. I Which can... one is it going to be? Yeah, oh, I, I completely. I had about so much fun with that 99. game, but it has no progression whatsoever. Yeah, it needed a little more, but it was so fun. Like, even if they had events right, like Tetris yeah. 99. Yeah, it should have had events. It's a tragedy. Yeah. And I bought, I bought all of DLC it. DLC to buy skins. I didn't buy it, but I did get all of the free so I, yeah. um, DLC. And I, I don't know if it's still on, but they had that sale recently where all the DLC okay, was yeah. 50% off. Oh, yeah. Let's get, yeah. um, let's get Dig yeah, Dug 99. Pac-Man's birthday, I think. I'm, or, I'm down. Uh, I'm down. Grobda get... 99. Yeah. I'd be down Let's for get Dignity. Tetris the Grand Master finally. Yeah. Oh wow! That'd I know cool. Arico wants to do it. I'd love to see it. But yeah. It, it, oh, bike I would like. Ninety nine. Um, let me think. Hang on, I gotta, I gotta pick one too. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, this is an easy one. So I, 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 this one is like an obvious one, but I'd still play the the absolute shit out of it, and that is uh, Panel de Pond ninety nine. Oh yeah, that would be amazing. Um, I'm down if they if they want to continue to add a 99 game every year. I am very down for it. We haven't gotten one yet this year. Give it to me. I would be so happy. Right. I'd even take oh, yeah, the yeah. online for four sure. swords yeah. if they yeah. want to give it to us for the. I yeah. wouldn't mind trying uh, like NSO with, with Street Fighter Six coming out. Like, imagine mm. if they did like a Street Fighter 99. That'd be pretty cool. If they did a Street Fighter Six cloud version, I'm kind of curious if they would attempt that. Oh, a cloud version? I could see that happening. Oh, I mean, though, like, it is, ugh, it is cloud it is, version for, I mean, yeah, it is fighter. already engine. I'd, I'd rather it not be, and I wouldn't buy it if it was a cloud version, but... It, I, it, c- it can't be... Na- I don't think it can be native. I don't think yeah. it would work. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe on yeah. the yeah, new, the next Switch, whenever that... Because by then, right, you know, you Ultra get Super Street Fighter I know, 6. I mean, Monster Hunter Rise is in, uh, yeah. is in RE Engine as well. Obviously, Street Fighter Six would need to be massively toned down, but I don't know if now that they've made you know Switch compatible with RE Engine, if it could be scaled down in that way or not. Um, I'm just a Street Fighter slut, so <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> where I am. <laughs> um, I I'm looking forward to Street Fighter. Yeah, I am too. I'm very happy. Er- earlier, you said you don't buy fighting games that like Smash's launch. Was that a joke? No, it's actually not a joke. The reason is because. Every single fighting game besides Smash gets a Game of the Year version later with all the DLC. That's oh. that's why I don't buy them at launch. Because so you're not going to play Street Fighter Six until then? I'm gonna like I'll probably play it at friends' houses and stuff. Oh, wow. But I'm not I'm not gonna. You're, you're dedicated. I'm not, respect. I'm not, yeah. Well, you... the thing, like I can't even do that. I can't even buy Mortal Kombat Day One anymore because, like, I mean, right? Like I can, right? But like the season you, passes. You can just buy like, it twice. It's like twenty, yeah. It's like twenty dollars or thirty dollars for a season pass, yeah. and then who knows how many seasons they do. 
And then they have a bunch of skins that are outside of the season pass. And at the end of the day, if I just wait, I'll get a $40 version that has everything <laughs> and not be missing anything. Yeah, but when no one's playing it. Yeah, but I don't really play online much. Oh, that's beginning. fair. And if I do, uh, it's with friends. Want... So... Do, you, do you ever play Street Fighter like arcades? Um, There are not really many arcades near me anymore. Uh... There is one. Um, and I've played on it a little bit, but it's more of a novelty than anything because, okay. you know, our, we're we're only going to be there for a few hours and we're probably going to spend time with games that we don't usually get to to play, like the weird stuff that's there, as opposed to, like, you know... Like Street Fighter. Every, Street Fighter or I, Mortal Kombat I do, or whatever. I do sort of want to try Street Fighter next time I'm at the arcade, though. They have a bunch of five machines. I, I had a... This is a slight aside, but we got a Street Fighter 2... Um, cabinet. It was wasn't World Warriors. I want to say it was um, uh, new. Was it the new challengers? I want to say the one that adds the four boss character adds the four boss characters playable. Um, we got a cabinet from my teacher in high school. Um, and it turned out being like a real shitty cabinet or whatever, but it was like cheap, and he just you know we gave it to him so he could play with it. Um, like you know like internally. Um, but it lived in my garage for a night and, uh, that was a very fun night. <laughs> it was, it was nice having, having that, uh, just for that one night. <laughs> um, very yeah. off topic. What was this podcast about? Uh, E3 or not E3 direct predictions. Um, okay. Well, uh, did that anyone was my have... list. That was your last? Do that you, was my do... list. That was your list? Okay. okay. Uh, Nintendo, do you have anything else before I introduce the final? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have uh, one more, and that will be um, <laughs> nice. Silk Song is going to uh, be announced yeah. a date for it. That would be cool. Hopefully, hopefully we finally see that game. I think that game has reached the point where like it would be shown at an event like this. You know, like... It's not just going to be, like, a tweet or, like, you know, sending PR to IGN or whatever. Are, are we going to see Sonic Frontiers? At... <laughs> oh, <Yeah>. maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Do we want so, to? Okay. So, I guess the last thing that I want to, to bring up is, and I'll, I'm going to go first on this one so you guys have a, a few sure. moments to think. Um. I want you to make a big, go big or go home prediction for this direct. Something that is like, is actually likely, but like certainly not guaranteed. Or it could be outlandish, whatever you want. I'm going to go first because I like, I've, I've been saying it for a while and I need to just drive it home. And I'm going to go on the record and say that I think they'll announce a Kirby Game & Watch at the direct and maybe even a uh, remaster of Return of Dreamland or something of that along those lines. Um, they've been doing the Game and Watches every year. Kirby's like the primary candidate for anniversary Game and Watch right now. Hal said they're doing more Kirby anniversary projects. We know they have the concert coming, um, and I do think it's going to involve more than just merch and like concert. Um, so that that's mine. I think. It's, I think Kirby Game & Watch is happening. What about you guys? <laughs> can, can I just be, like, extremely outlandish? Yeah, you can be extremely outlandish. I'll... Donkey Kong bongos are back for the Switch. <laughs> God. <laughs> That's all I got. Well, okay. <laughs> Alright, you heard it here first when Donkey Kong 4 gets in there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What about you, Nintendo? Dad? Is an outlandish thing? I'm gonna say. Oh yeah, let's make Super it happen. Super Mario Odyssey return DLC. To, return to Delfino Plaza. Is it now? <laughs> give, get, give me Punch Out too, just because I want yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, there, there's a game we didn't mention that I think has a oh. potential of being there. Uh, Bayonetta three we didn't mention. Oh, I forgot about Bayonetta three. <laughs> yeah. That, <laughs> Oh yeah, do we have a day for that yet? If that's they, there, doesn't it change the time that it would 
be yeah. the direct? It would it, have it, to be an evening uh, direct, I think right? we still said second half of this year for for Bayo 3. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's still 2022. Yeah, yeah Bayo They Bayo just don't have up. a date. That, date. that yeah. I feel pretty com- comfortable saying. Yeah, that, that would be up. a good one to say. Um, I think, based on what you were saying about Kirby, I think we will get a mouthful mode Kirby DS Lite. I would, just or, uh, Kirby I would love Switch a new Lite. DS Lite, uh, DS Lite. Uh, this year, though. That would be so cool. Um, a, yeah. A, well, yeah. A Switch Lite, but it's going to look like Kirby in mouthful mode. <laughs> like funny. Kirby if just they did ate a the Switch Lite. Mouthful mode, um, like, or a Kirby edition Switch OLED, I'd probably drop dead and buy it. <laughs> Oh, we should get a new uh, Switch Pro controller. It's been so long. <laughs> yeah, uh, we can make it um, Sonic Frontiers. <laughs> Bayonetta <controller>. 3 uh, <laughs> themed, so keep it away from the kids. <laughs> I think the, my, the most outlandish thing I can think of is the month after this Direct, they're going to announce... That either the end of August, beginning of September, they are gonna have a Nintendo <laughs> oh, yeah, Switch Lite <laughs> um, OLED. I have another prediction. They'll they'll um, at this E3, um, Mr. Zelda is gonna come out and he's gonna say, "I was kidding about Breath of the Wild two being delayed." <laughs> <laughs> it are was gonna, a joke. Are, are, I, I, I think I love how all this outlandish stuff. That we're saying, and not one of us said they'll show Metroid Prime Four. <laughs> oh, that can't happen. It's just impossible. <laughs> yeah, we're not that not that outlandish. All right. Well, um, I think we've predicted and guessed uh, yeah. and hoped and prayed I for just so. about everything in the universe. And we'll uh, we'll do a we'll do another pod after the direct yeah. to show how how right we were and yeah, how we definitely. got everything spot on. Yeah, everything here that we mentioned will show up. Absolutely, all of it. Yeah, Switch Lite Kirby Switch edition Lite OLED. OLED. <laughs> um, so yeah. Um, first off, yeah. thank you, Nintendo, Ed, for being here with us. Yeah, thank you, Chris, uh, so much. Um, second, uh, some housekeeping. Yeah, thanks for having me. Um, Nintendo. I almost I almost said the wrong one. Nintendo Pipeline.wordpress.com still exists. Okay. You can get a link to our Discord there or go to discord.gg slash Nintendo Pipeline. Um, there is uh, what else? I know there's something else. Uh, we post our videos on uh, oh, right. YouTube and Discord. Yeah. Or YouTube, <laughs> YouTube and Discord. YouTube Discord. Uh, it's it's almost twelve, sorry. Yeah. Uh, on YouTube and any place you can find podcasts. Apple, yeah. Android. So- Stitcher. Slacker, is that one? Stitcher. Yeah, yeah, you were close. Breaker, yeah. I think Breaker's one. That um, sounds like one. Yeah, uh, Anchor. Mm-hmm. You can listen to them directly on Anchor. Spotify, uh, did we say Spotify? Oh, yeah, Spotify. So, yeah, I guess if, you, if you're hearing this and you haven't already um, and you like it, feel free to subscribe. We appreciate yeah. it. Give us, appreciate give, us a re- give us a review on iTunes. Give us a thumbs up. Uh, tell your... <laughs> smash that like button. Yeah, smash that like button. Uh, Ring God. that bell. Yeah. Um, and uh, thank you also for uh, if you're listening to this for listening to our 50th episode. Whether you've just listened to this one or you've wa- listened to all of them, or because you hate yourself, um, <laughs> we will have more coming soon. And uh, actually, one other thing, um, Nintendo, where can people find you? Uh, you could find me pretty much everywhere. Um at Super Nintendo and I have a Nintendo podcast and to the That's O cool. a Nintendo show. Awesome. And you can find yeah, that so where definitely podcasts check, are. Uh, Nintendo out Nintendo out. We will leave some info in the description. I know you basically have gameplay of like every Switch game that comes out every week <laughs> on on your channel. So if there's something that you're looking for and you, know, <laughs> you haven't seen much of it, you'll probably get some coverage on uh, Nintendo Dad's YouTube channel. Um, but yeah, uh, that's gonna be it for now. Uh, thanks yes. again for listening, and we will see you next time. See ya. Peace out. <laughs>